My name is Jordan Officer, and I'm going to be talking about Tritone Subs. So we've been talking about Charlie Christian's language, his incredible playing on the solo of Swing to Bop. I'm just going to take a minute to talk about Tritone Subs. Um, a Tritone Sub, Tritone Substitute, means you're substituting one chord over another. Um, and in this case, uh, you're tr substituting a chord that's a tritone away from your five chord. So we're talking about a five chord. If we're in the key of A, for example, our, key, our, tri our five chord is the E7. So that E7 resolves to A in a very nice way. A 5-1 resolution is something that you'll find in probably most songs out there, most music. Uh, it's the most common chord change. Uh, it's the most common type of resolution. It's a very strong resolution. Um, and I'll explain why in these. In the E7 chord, um, the third and the seventh, so the G sharp and the D, it's a flat seven because it's a dominant chord together make a very dissonant, very unstable uh, interval, a tritone. And that interval doesn't want to stay there. It wants to move, it wants to resolve to something uh, more stable. And that third, all it wants to do is to just resolve up to our A. And that seven, it just wants to drop down to the third of our A. So the this note resolves up to our tonic, and this no note resolves down to our third. So it goes from something very dissonant and unstable to something very stable, which is basically your major chord, your A major. Um, but it just so happens, and, and because these two notes are so uh, important in this uh, in this mechanics and the way they resolve in this voice leading um, uh, you could definitely say that the third and seventh of that E7 chord are more important than even the root of the E7 the E itself or the fifth they're the two most important notes of that E7 chord in the way it resolves and it just so happens that there's another chord that has those exact two notes in it and that's the B flat 7 which is the dominant chord that's a tritone away from the E E7, B flat 7. And, and so on the B flat 7, what was the third of the E is the seventh of the B flat 7. And what was the seventh of the E is the third of the B flat 7. So the B flat 7 has, has that exact same interval that wants to resolve in exactly the same way if you're in the key of A. So the root and fifth are different, but that interval, that most important part of the chord is still there. So rather than going E to A, you go B flat 7 to A, it's almost the same resolution. It just has different root movement. Um, so apart from having a different root and fifth, those two chords share that tritone, that unstable dissonant interval that really wants to resolve and it can resolve in the exact same way as the E7 does so instead of going E7 to A you do B flat 7 to A and it's the same mechanics it's the same the same important voice leading is there and what that means and that's really cool is that over an E7 chord, on any song with an E7 chord or a 5 chord, you can play a line that's a B flat 7 line over your E flat because it'll resolve in the same way. So while the rest of the band is playing E7 to A, for example, you can play a line that's all B flat 7. while everyone else is playing the E7, and what that does is you hear uh, those B flat 7 notes in relation to E7, because that's what everyone else is playing. And the really cool part about it is that it gives you all these altered notes. So besides the two that are the same, you get this, uh, what would be a flat 5 over the E7 from your B flat note. You get a flat 9, a sharp 9. So if you re relate the notes of your B flat 7 melody to, to the actual chord you're playing over E, you get all kinds of altered sounds. Flat 9, sharp 9, 
uh, you know, Sharp 11, and that's the fun thing about um, about playing tritone subs is you can play a very simple B flat melody. flat over your E7 and you get a, a an altered sound and a, a, you know with nice little dissonances in it that lead you to your A so you spice it up you add these other dissonances these altered notes uh, just by playing a very simple straight ahead B flat 7 melody over the E7 that's what you call a tritone sub and um, well let's learn one let's just uh, pick one and 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 play it a few times um, Do this. So in B flat seven, it would be seven, one, uh, three, six, five, and then then you resolve it to the A. keep having fun with tritone subs, but also we're going to get back to our Charlie Christian uh, solo on Swing to Bop and uh, see what kind of fun we can have with that. My name is Jordan Officer. Over the next weeks and months, I'm going to be getting back to the basics, trying out new ideas, ideas for improvising, technique, language, uh, some gear stuff. I'll be getting together with some of my favorite guitar players, talking about some of my favorite guitar players. So stay tuned, share, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.